Manchester United played some of their most incisive and creative football of the season in the first half against Istanbul, but the amount of chances United conceded against an average team created cause for concern. The whiteboard analysis will focus on the key to United's impressive one and two touch passing and the reasons why United conceded so many chances in the game. First, let's look at the stats. The 16 shots at goal, with 13 of those inside the box, are a result of United's oppressive tackling play during the game, but the 13 shots against them, with 6 inside the box, are a result of United's poor defending. But let's start with the positives in United's game on the whiteboard. The Devil's Verdict called it, and the difference was evident. I'm not interested in Marshall or Rashford, because the foundation to all United's attacking play was Cavani. My call for Cavani to be in the team was based on the lack of movement and focal points up front. Cavani occupies centre-backs by playing up against them, and his movement, whether it be across the defensive line, in behind the defensive line, or dropping deep, is always within the width of the penalty box. The variation in his movement makes it difficult for defenders to read him, but always gives the midfield forward passing options. The second goal demonstrated this perfectly. He drops off to give Fred a target. Fred plays a ball into Cavani's feet. From the central position he takes up, it allowed Martial and Tellez to make forward runs off him. He lays it off to Martial and then turns and drives into the box to get onto the end of Tellez's cross. On the flip side, Martial in a number 9 position drops out to the left and over to the right, completely vacating central areas and as a result denying United's midfield and fullbacks forward passing options. Cavani was the focal point for all United's one and two touch movements just through offering himself as a central target. Moving on to screenshots of the fourth goal, Matic plays a forward ball up to Cavani who again is in that central area. You can see that Greenwood has started his run off Cavani and so is James off screen in anticipation of the next pass from Cavani's layoff. Cavani lays the ball off to Van der Beek who slips a through ball to Greenwood from that initial run. But Cavani isn't finished there. He continues to drive forward to the box. At the point James puts the ball into the net, Cavani is on the edge of the box. He was never going to get onto the end of Greenwood's ball, but his desire to run hard in stoppage time to try and get a goal was incredible. But in general, his ability to link the midfield to the attack and then to make those driving runs forward into the box caused Istanbul problems all night. He's a proper marksman. Moving on to United's defensive frailties, the commentary for the game were criticising Fred and van der Beek for not protecting the back four. Whether they are defensively good enough as a pair in that double pivot remains to be seen, but they were not the reason for United's defensive issues on the night. Under Oli, United have always defended wide areas badly because he leaves his wide men up the pitch for a counter-attack, or when his wide men do get back, they are defensively very poor. With this sound ball playing a 4-1-4-1 formation, United were getting outnumbered in wide areas, which was pulling a centre back and a midfield player across the pitch, creating huge gaps centrally. The majority of Istanbul's chances came from the ball going wide, pulling United's defensive structure across the pitch, then moving the ball back in field to exploit the space. This is a screenshot of the builder of the shot that hit the bar. From this position, United look in control with four Istanbul players against five United players. But with Maguire coming across, look at the huge gap there is between him and Tuan and Zabi. Add to that, Martial letting his man run off him. Moving on to the next phase of the play, Martial hasn't moved, but look where his man is. This has caused Fred to move across to pick Martial's man up, which has created a huge space between him and Van der Beek. And Maguire has followed his man unnecessarily into an area of no danger, further elongating that space between him and Swinzebi. Through Martial not following his man in the first instance, Tellez not going with his man and Maguire coming across too far, United have gone from here in a 5 against 4 situation to a simple 1-2 and Istanbul is steering down United's goal with huge spaces to attack. Moving on to a different situation, a simple ball is played down the flank to Istanbul's left back, who ordinarily would be Greenwood's man as the right-sided attacker for United. This caused Fred to come across to pick the left back up, which left a huge space centrally and the player who eventually got the shot off unattended. One ball inside 
and Istanbul have a player unmarked in the box, but look where Fred has ended up because Greenwood didn't track his man back. But what angers me is, look where Cavani is, back in the box, helping the team out under pressure, with Greenwood up the pitch, scratching his arse. What really pisses me off with United's attackers is, that they don't work hard enough for the team. Giggs and Beckham would do 60, 70 yard shuttles to the pitch for 90 minutes every game, getting forward to provide attacking width, and then getting back to protect Irwin and Neville respectively. If it's good enough for two legends, it should be good enough for this lot, who ain't worthy of picking the dirt off the boots of these two. The Devils' verdict is, Cavani stays in. His movement, link-up play, occupancy of central areas and work rate is a cut above United's other attacking options. The other area of debate is, does Ollie stick with Van der Beek and Fred, or go back to McTominay and Fred? For the game against Southampton, I would go with Van der Beek and Fred. With Southampton's high line, Van der Beek's ability to play those little balls around the corner for United speedsters could prove decisive. His forward thinking passing gave United a creative dimension from the sixth position, but Motomini is back in for PSG. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the analysis and your thoughts on the game. As always, please like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video.